It is. Oh, I did send you that thing on Facebook, but that's okay. Um. Oh crap. That's okay. Don't worry about it, honey. So we have a huge festival coming up. Um, yes. I festival. follow. Um, I don't, I don't label myself, but I'm more paganistic than anything. You know, I consider myself very pagan. Spiritual, earth-based, Spirit, pagan. Yeah, spiritually earth-based. I love the earth. I love all of the festivals that pertain to the earth. witch. Yeah, some people call me a witch. They call me a bitch, too, but it depends on the company that I'm keeping. <laughs> so you just need to beware, okay? Um, so, Beltane is coming up, mm-hmm. and it is this weekend, May 1st, is generally the Beltane, um, and Beltane is one of our big celebrations, and Beltane is a fertility fire festival. So, way back 20,000 years ago, the farmers would have huge fires from April 30th to May 1st. It was 24 hours. They would have two huge fires in the field, and they would walk all their cattle between the two fires mm. to help with the production of the milk and the meat. And oh. so it's it's like it was like a huge oh, spear pumps everywhere, big saging of the animals. Right? They had those fires going, and they walked them through the smoke to clear to clear the karma and the energies and to bring in fertility and fruitation. Nice. So they did that in the crops, in, in they did that out in the fields. And people from all over would come. One of the biggest celebrations is actually in the UK. And they actually, so Beltane is Gaelic and it means fire of Bell. And Bell, which is B-E-L, was a Celtic deity. Okay, so it was a, a Celtic god that resembled the, that was all about the fire festival, and um, about fire and fertility, rather. Excuse me. Also, way back in the day, which I thought was amazing, like I'm going twenty thousand years ago, they literally, it's a fertility festival to bring fertility and union and the Sex. boys in the villages would go out into the fields and pick bouquets of blooms that we're in because, you know, spring is in full bloom Mm -hmm. right now, right? It's between spring and summer. So it's in full bloom. They would go and they would pick these extravagant bouquets of flowers and they would bring them to the maidens in the village. That was how they got engaged. And then they all got married on the summer solstice. Flowers like guys bring girls flowers. flowers. Yes, it's oh. it's a type of courting. And um, so excuse me. <laughs> so they basically the, the the reason that they have the big fire is for cleansing, purity, and increasing of fertility. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, yeah, I already read that. So the pagans today believe that Beltane. Um, is was the woman goddess, right? And she gave birth at the winter solstice to the young oak king. Mm. So now the young oak king is old enough to have sex to, with his mother, to have sex with the goddess, no. and to recreate. No, yes. I'm serious. I know, I but know that's that's. that's but seriously, that's how it was back then, right? Yeah. It, well, it was like the cycle. So it, it was like the right. representation of it was the like re- the maiden right. exactly. and all. Exactly. I just had to. I couldn't of the resist. I know you couldn't. It's okay. But um, so <laughs> most of all, but for today, it is the creation of fertility. Um, and I have a blessed opportunity this weekend. Um, I am going to my first spiritual vending event. I they are having a huge Beltane festival mm-hmm. right here in uh, Fort Pierce, Florida. Um, it's the Port St. Lucie, which is a pagan's uh, Beltane event. It's going to be at the Savannah Preserves in Fort Pierce. Beautiful. It's going park. to be from ten to two. It's a gorgeous park. I love camping there. I've done mm-hmm. a couple of events there myself. And, and Robin has been there 
you you know the place, Robin. Yeah, and so we're doing this big festival. They're gonna have the fire. The, um, one of my girlfriends is doing goddess dancing. She's gonna be teaching a goddess dancing class. Mm. So everyone's gonna be dancing around the fire, and you know we Hopefully always dress for our. Flowers. You know, people dress up for Christmas. People dress up for Thanksgiving. We dress up for Belting. Mm -hmm. We wear flowers in our hair. We wear our pretty dresses. We just feel beautiful. And we feel very womenly, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, so I've already picked out my outfit, and I have my headdress, and I have all Are that you, stuff. Can somebody get a picture of you I at your booth? I will. And anybody wants to go out and check it out. Yeah, guys, where, please come check it Savannah out. We're going to be at the Savannah Preserves. That's this Saturday, May 1st, for the Beltane Festival. It is from 10 to 2. It is a free admission. Um, and there's going to be so much going on. And if you've never experienced how we of this faith and of this path that we choose for our spirituality celebrate, come join us. I yeah. mean, we don't, we don't. We're not really naked. Listen, we're, first of all, really... we're not naked. We're not going to eat your kids. <laughs> we're not going to courage the devil. We are going no, to it's, celebrate it's life and fertility. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a beautiful experience so if you've never experienced a Beltane festival I highly recommend it mm. it's it's quick it's 10 to 2 it's free it's gonna be beautiful out I mean it's it's I'm excited that's so I'm cool. so excited I know I'm so proud of you and yeah so by so the way cool. Endenburg is the place in the UK and Endenburg literally closes all of their businesses for two days. Wow. And they, the entire town, and there's over 100,000 people that come to their Beltane Festival every year. Oh. And that's out in the UK. Yeah. They time, to, really, they, time to update our passports. They celebrated at Calton Hill in Endenburg. Um, and they all come together to mark the uh, coming of summer. And they all go up to the top of the hill dressed up as like oh. the May Queens and everyone's in gear and it's a big celebration of the green man and the goddess and um, it's just amazing. Wow. I've watched some videos of there too and it's pretty cool, man. That's so cool. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Hey, we could try to go there maybe, get our passports and go there. We just, I if would we go, love to go to the we, UK. We can't say Fanny if no, we go. No, that's a faggot. No, it's a girl bum. Oh. It means girl bum. It means vagina. Oh, so that's not a bum. That's a vajayjay. It's a vajayjay, but it's a not like a... A bum is a butt. Yeah. A bum. Bum, yeah. Bum, 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 I think bum, a fag bum. is a cigarette. Okay. But yeah, a, a fanny, don't say fanny if you go to England. And if you're in England and you're hearing me say fanny, I'm not sorry for saying it because fanny, fanny, fanny. Fanny, <laughs> fanny, fanny. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a vajayjay. <laughs> So is there anything else that our viewers need to know about Beltane or that you'd like well, them to know? you know, That's I gotta cool. tell you, they celebrate it all over and even the geisha traditions in Japan dress for Beltane. Oh, how like, cool is that? Like it has been so, and it's in, in, the, in the Japanese, yep. it's, um, they do, it's the geisha, so it's all about the white woman mm -hmm. and their, their the maiden. goddess, their, their maiden. maiden. Nice. Because it's all about us being, you know, the, in the fertility. So it's yep. that maiden going into the motherhood. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that passing of, ooh, the torch <laughs> onto the next phase of the woman's life. Yes. <laughs> Just saying. It's it's going to be an awesome event. And listen, I'll be there. Kooky Crazy Amy. Love it's it. It's going to be there. And, um... Yay. 